the first step on the starting. Your New Year's resolutions begins right now. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to the first Isle Falls Alden High School North Central Conference matchup of 2018. I'm Marty Burke, giving you the picture of success. And this matchup is underway. It is Isle Falls Alden against Humboldt. an exciting challenge here tonight because what, once again we're not only getting ourselves to another North Central Conference matchup but we're finally getting into the gold and blue brand known as Humboldt and they are the Wildcats and of course your stars for tonight's contest for the cadets are Maddie Jewell Lauren Jewell Taylor Van Adder Key Meyer and Grace Reno and of course the cadets are coached by Brandon Uhlerberg assisted by Darren Renman Doug Dudd and Ed Geitz no go on to from Maddie Jewell and, be, and this turnover will command 21 will take possession. Takes the center. Bounce pass to 10 on the outside block from Taylor. 42 inside for a 2. No go. Grace Reno will re rebound it. Oh, no good. No good out of travel. Back in the cadet offense. Matt is Jewel Course will take courtesy. He'll pass it to her sister Lauren. And Lauren Jewel will travel. And we're back into the Hummel offense, cadet defense. Six minutes and 30 seconds remain in this first quarter. Now, it is unknown for the Hummel Wildcats on their record. However, the cadets are 5-5. Five and five. It's their current record for this, for this basketball season. And the cadets, of course, would like to raise the winning the wind scale up a little higher here tonight. Katie Meyer still driving inside. The bounce pass to Grace next to her inside for a two. Two points! Cut X. Back in the humble offense, 20 to 22. Taylor's got her girl along to Katie Meyer blocking 20. Oh. 10 with a bounce pass into 42 inside two points Wildcats. Hey, Jewel will take possession as usual. Take it to Kenny Meyer. Bounce pass to Grace Reno. Bounce pass back to Kenny Meyer. Will she pop a three? Close but no cigar. And it's a jump ball. Will the cadets get their uh, first T foul for that match? Nope, doesn't, doesn't look like it right yet. Well, nonetheless, Katie Meyer oh, lost a lot, lost time, and now it's a turnover back in the Hummel offense. How about that? A five second violation. 22. We'll take it to the far right. Outside block from Maddie. 10 block from Lauren. 20 block from Katie. Going outside the right. Bounce pass to 10. One foot in, one foot barely out. 22 inside. No going to two. Grace Reno will take the rebound. It'll take a pass to Maddie Jewell. On the outside to Katie. Now in. One foot in, one foot out to Lauren Jewell. To the center, to Maddie. Overhand to Taylor, who loses it. Or maybe not. K. Meyer will rebound it, re intercept it. Maddie to Taylor. Or excuse me, great Grace, two points cadets. And we are looking at ourselves at a tie matchup thus far. Inside in this match, four to four is your current score. Tied to Block from Lauren, overthrown to Maddie inside. Two points, cut X. Humboldt has called for a timeout when we return to Humboldt High School. Another town, another part is what I like to call it, as we return to Humboldt High School for this North Central Conference matchup between the Speed Demon Wildcats and the Cadets of Isle Falls Alden. 
20 to take it to the center still. From 10 tw back to 20. And Darby died. Also, Jenny Whipham, I found themselves into this match, taking over for Lauren Jewell and for Taylor Van Ayer. And Darby Dye will take that basketball. No shot made. And Humboldt will receive their first team foul. Foul is on number 10, Dobby. Her first team foul, number one, for the Wildcats. Oops. Hold on. Well, Jay must have forgotten to take that bracelet off or something. Well, nonetheless, Dar Darby not sure to give it to. Almost five seconds is up. Well, a quick meant to give it to Natty, but loses it. As Darby tries to see it, but 40 will take possession. And a bounce pass to 10 as this turnover has commenced. Their third or fourth turnover, looks like. 10 on the outside for a three, and it's short. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will be Cadet Ball. Maddie Jewell will take Kersky in the Cadet offense. The pass to Darby on the, outs on the outside left. Back to Katie Meyer. Pass to Darby. Now who's on the outside right? Maddie to Grace inside. Darby. Darby, back to Maddie. Oh, meant to give it to Gra Grace, but stolen out of 10. And she'll drive in the inside. No, going to two. But 22 with a two. That two will not count, but the ball will remain to the Wildcats. Darby will receive her first foul. C foul number one for the Cadets. Number 20, not sure to give it to. She'll bounce past the 22, back to 20 inside. No, go on at two. K Meyer will rebound the basketball, and we are back in the cadet offense. Two points, cadets. The cadets are looking to get into the driver's seat of this matchup. Four to eight is your current score in favor of the cadets. to the 10. Back to 20 on the outside for a three. And it connects. Only down by one. We are back in the cadet offense. Maddie Jewell will once again take possession. The hand it off to Darby to the center. Back to Maddie. Block from 10. In trouble is Darby. With inside driving in for a two. Two points. Connect. Forty-two will receive her first foul. Team foul number two for the Wildcats. And Darby will be given a free throw shot opportunity. First one is up, and it's good. Switching gears now is twenty. Will take possession. Passes to twenty-two with Maddie in the middle. Passes it back to twenty. The twenty-four on the outside left. Block from Darby. Back to twenty. With Maddie with a lot, her eyes on her. 10 to 22 inside. No go on a two. 24 will take possession. No go on a two. Darby with her second team foul. Team foul number two for the Cadets. Lauren and Grace Jewell coming in for Katie Meyer and for, uh, for, and for Grace Reno and for Katie Meyer, excuse me. Close on a three, but no cigar will be given on that. Jenny Whipham, a freshman, will take possession. Our throw to Maddie to her sister Grace outside for a three. No go. Oh, what a die taken from Lauren for this turnover. 22 to 10. Two points, Wildcats. Less 
less than a minute remaining in this first quarter. Only up by two, but the cadets are obviously going to need more than that to get through this matchup. Two points, cadets! Twenty overthrown to twenty-four. No, going to two. Taylor will fight for it, and it will be a jump ball. The ball will be given to the cadets. Or Maddie to Grace. Back to Maddie. Lauren, she'll drive it inside to Taylor. If she will travel and back it to the Hummel offense. Connect defects. Ten to twenty-two. Back to ten. Block from Jenny and Lauren. Twenty. The twenty-two inside. No, going to two. Ball goes out of bounds, but it will remain Wildcat ball. Only a precisely eight seconds left. Twenty. Not sure to give it to. It should give it to fifty. Whistle blown, and it will be a foul against the Cadets. That will be Maddie Jewell with her first. Team foul number three for the cadets. Number 40, let's come back in this matchup. 50. First one is up, and it's a no-go. 40 and 32, let's come into this matchup for 20 and for 24. Wildcats and cadets set the box out. Second one is up, and it's good. Jenny the Maddie, and she'll take courtesy once again, and the owl ball's all in cadet deep offense. Meant to Grace Jewel, but loses possession, and now through it for your first quarter. Cadets 13, Wildcats 10. We will return for the second quarter, and that is next. And here we go. We are back inside Hummel territory for this North Central Conference matchup between the Cadets of Isle Falls Alden and the Wildcats of Hummel. No two given as Grace Reno will rebound it. And she'll take the driving force inside. Maddie met to Katie Meyer. It'll go out of bounds and it will be Wildcat ball. Take courtesy in the Wildcat offense to the center over the 32 on the out. Now in block from Lauren. Bounce past the 40 on the outside block from Katie. She is now inside. Matt to 10. Bounce past the 50 on the inside. Will it be two points? No, it will not. Taylor Vanette will, will rebound that basketball and she will give it back to Katie Meyer, who is now in to Taylor Vanette for a three. No go. Grace Reno will rebound it. The bag bounce pass. Two points. Good ass. Dan back to 32. Warren will take possession. 50 will screen. 40 with now now inside the 32, both feet out. Now in. Two points, Wildcats. That is two. Your sister Lauren. Oh, blocked it out of the hands from 10. Nope. And she will steal that basketball. No, go on a two. Kmire will take possession. And we are back in the cadet offense as she brings it to the center right. Going inside, no going to two. Taylor Van Adder, no going to two. Grace Reno, bounce pass from King Meyer to pop a three, and it connects! Ryan Uelberg has called for a timeout when we return to Hummel High School. We are back 
back here on Friday Night Basketball. We are back inside Hummel Territory with this North Central Conference matchup. Grace Joel coming in for her sister Lauren as we reset up the cadet offense, Wildcat. Wildcat defense. Cadet offense, right. Grace to Katie, back to Grace. There, the ball will scatter over the place. It'll go out of bounds, and we are back. And the humbled offense could have defense. 22 to 20, back to 22. Block from, from Grace Duell. 40 now in the outside center. 32 to the left. Now 42 inside. Grace to Taylor Benatter. Two points. Cut it. Al Falls Alvin in total control of this matchup thus far here tonight. Whistle blown, I believe. The ball does, will not go out of bounds. However, Maddie Jewell will be given her second foul. Team foul number four for the Cadets. Five minutes and ten seconds remaining in this first half. Starters back on the floor for Humble. 22 not should have given it to you. Should give it to 40, back to 22. 20 with Katie Meyer blocking her. Den are throwing a 22 inside. Two points. Wildcats. Reset of the get it offense. Maddie will bounce pass to her sister Grace. To Taylor Van Adder. To Katie Meyer. Are throwing back to Taylor on the inside. Ball will be given back to the Wildcats. And no foul will be given to the cadets. Well, nonetheless, 22 take possession. Ten with full possession, blocked from Mar Matty Jewell. Twenty to forty. Whoa, Chris. Nice little miss that taken for Grace Jewel as she'll save that basketball. Whistle blown, and I believe number 40 has given a foul. And yes, that will be her first. T foul number four for the Wildcats. Kmar not sure to give it to. She'll take a bounce pass to Grace Reno, but still only out of 22 and back to 20 with the possession. with her eyes locked on her. And it's a jump off. <laughs> 24 was come back in this matchup for 40. And Jenny Whippon will be coming in for Taylor Van Adder. <laughs> Resetting up the cadet offense as Maddie Jewell will once again start it off with a bounce pass to Grace Reno. Now inside, back to Lauren or Jenny Whipham to Grace Jewell. She'll take it to her sister Maddie. On the outside for a three, no go. Our throw to 24. 22 inside, two points. Wildcats. IFA still in the lead, but the Wildcats are indeed catching up to them. No go on to two. 22 will take the rebound. Bounce pass back to 10. Clark, 20 from Katie, now inside. 42, block from Grace Reno. Whistle blown, and Grace Reno will be given her first foul. Team foul number five for the Cadets. 42 will give him two points. First one is up, and it's no good. Cadets 
set the box out. Second one is up, and it's a no-go. Back in the cadet offense, Katie Meyer will take possession on the outside left to Maddie. She'll take it out inside and out to Katie Meyer for a three, and it's no-go. Two to 22. Overthrown to 24. Inside. No go on a two. Ball goes out of bounds. And it will be Cadet Ball. Ten blocking for Maddie. To Key Meyer. She will travel. And it will be back in the Wildcat offense. With possession, block for Maddie. Grace Reno with her eyes on her. 42 to 22 inside. Two points, Wildcats. And the Cadets are in need of a full timeout in this match. 13 over throw, no Jenny. Short on a two. Ball goes out of bounds and it will remain Cadet ball. Katie Meyer will take possession. Not sure to give it to. She'll go to Grace Jewell. Pass it to her sister, Maddie. To Katie Meyer on the outside for a three. And it connects! 22 takes possession. Thrown to 24. Or excuse me, 20. She'll pass it to 10. Block from Matt. Maddie. Now to 24 inside. Two points. Wildcat. Maddie will take possession. Try overthrow to Grace Reno. Whistle blown, and it's a travel. Back in the humble offense, Cadet defense. 40 will come in for 24. One minute and 17 seconds remaining in the first half. 40 to 10. 40 now inside. No going at two. Block from Grace Reno. Jenny Whipholm now will receive her first foul. Team foul, team foul number six for the Cadets. Her first and the team six. 20 to 22 inside. Whistle blown. And the Cadets will receive another team foul. Team foul number seven. And Jenny Whipholm again with a back to back foul. Now with two fouls. Taylor Bernard, let's come back in this matchup. First one is up, and it's no good. Taylor now in for Jenny. Wildcats and Cadets set to box out. 50, let's come back into this matchup as well. Second one is up, and it's a no-go. Katie Meyer will take an overthrow to Maddie Jewell inside. No-go on a two. Ted will take possession. Our throwing to 40 inside. No going to two. 22 points. Wildcats. <laughs> Maddie Jasper trying to re re retain that basketball. Katie to Taylor. Two points. Connects. Ten to twenty-two. To forty. Are going to forty-two now inside. No, going to two. Whoa, whoa! It will be a jump ball. Sixteen and a half seconds for me in this first half. 20, not sure who to give it to. 50 will take it. Two points, Wildcats. Only down by one, but something has got to give in this match. Two points, Cadets. And now, do it for your 
your first half, ladies and gentlemen. Kid has 23, Wildcat has 24. Coming up next is the second half of this girls varsity matchup. And we are back live in Hummel High School for this North Central Conference matchup between the cadets of Outball Zalvin and the Speed Demon Wildcats of Hummel. This second half is now commenced. And two points for the cadets. With five, with all our five stars into the mix, we are we are set to finish this matchup. Sam will take a bounce pass to 42, block from Taylor Van Adder. No going to two. Grace Reno will try to fight for it, and it won't be a jump. Whistle blown. And I believe 22 will be given a foul. Or excuse me, that might be 10. Yes, number 10 with his second. Team foul number one for the Wildcats. Team I on the outside. Howard throwing to Matty, who barely makes it in time. Two points, connects. Ten will take possession. Block from Kenny Meyer, 22 now on the inside. Whistle blown. Whoa. And a defensive foul will be given to the cadets. Lauren Jewell now with her first. Team foul number one for the cadets. 22 will be given a three-point shot opportunity. First one is up, and it's good. for his second timeout as this matchup rolls on. Well, Wildcats Cadet set the box out as we return to Hummel territory. The second one is up and it's a no-go. Back in the Cadet offense, Wildcat defense, Kenny Meyer will take possession with a bounce pass to Grace Reno. One foot in, one foot out. Tim and Adder, will it be two points? No, it will not. 10 to 40, now inside. Two points, Wildcats. And 40 will be given a free throw shot opportunity onto the, onto the free throw line. And the Cadets will be given another team foul. Kay Meyer now with her first team foul number two. First one is up. And it's a no-go. Taylor back to Maddie. And she'll take courtesy once again in the Cadet offense. And make sure you stay tuned in tonight for the boys varsity matchup as the boys varsity cadets take on the boys varsity Hummel Wildcats. That should be another yet exciting matchup. Something has definitely got to give in this particular in that particular match. Twenty-two with full possession. The forty. She'll take it to 10. Block from Lauren. Throw to 20 on the outside left. Back to 10 from back to Lauren. Back to 10. 22 inside. Grace Reno will intercept that basketball. Oh, we're throwing it to Maddie. It's a Taylor Banner. No going to two. Grace Reno and Taylor trying to fight for it, but it will be a jump ball. Grace Reno will receive her second team foul number three for the Cadets. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will remain humble ball. Twice sure, not sure to give it to. But we we'll try this one again. 22 will now take it to 20. Block from Lauren and Grace. Reno. 40 bounce pass to 42. Ball goes out of bounds and it will remain humble ball. <laughs> 20. Not sure who to give it to. Should take it to 42. On the outside for a three. And that will connect. Only down by one. But will the Cadets leave Hummel territory with a W, or will it be humbled to go home tonight with a W? 
Katie is short on a three. Taylor Vanara will take possession. No going at two. Taylor Vanara will be given a three throw shot opportunity. And the Humble Wildcats will receive their second team foul as number 22 will take her second. First one is up. And it's a no go. Darby will take over for Lauren Jewell as we set the box out. Second one is up, and it's good. Twenty or thrown to ten. Clark with Katie Meyer locked on her girl. Twenty will take possession. Or thrown pass to ten. Block from Darby died. Twenty back to ten. Darby on, eyes on her. Ten block from Taylor Van or forty, excuse me. Block from Taylor Van Adder. Twenty. From Katie Meyer to Darby. Grace Reno will rebound that basketball and pass it back to, Matt, to Katie Meyer. She'll drive it inside, bounce pass to Taylor. To Grace Reno, no going to two. It's a jump ball. Twenty-two to ten, block from Darby and Grace Reno. Forty inside, forty-two inside for a two. No go. No go on a two. The cadets are giving another foul. Grace Reno with her third team foul number four. First one is up and it's short. 24, those come back into this matchup for 40 as we are looking to box out. Second one is up and it's good. Game Meyer will go pass to Matty Jewell. Now inside. No going at two. Taylor will save it. Two points connect. 20 to 10. The 24. Whoa. No going at two. And an offensive foul will be given to Humboldt as 24 will receive her first team foul number three for the Wildcats. Back in the cadet offense as Maddie Jewell will take full possession. Hand to Darby. Dribbling outside to Kay Meyer. To Maddie Jewell. Kay Meyer on the outside left. Now inside overthrown to Maddie Jewell. Might be thinking of a three, but no. She'll give it to Grace Reno for a two. No go. She'll save it. And give it to Kenny Meyer, who is now outside. Back to Maddie Drew, who is well. Will it be two points? No, it will not. Grace Reno with a two. No go. Grace Reno will be given a three throw shot opportunity onto the. 42 will receive her second. Team foul number four for the Wildcats. First one is up, and it's good. Number 50 looks come back into this matchup as we are set to box out once again. The second one is up, and it's good. Fifty to twenty will take possession. Block with Grace Reno, Matty Jewell, Darby will block for fifty. Ten in trouble. Back to fifty. Twenty to twenty-four inside. No going at two. Forty-two with a two. Two points. Wildcat. Three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Kate. Driving the inside. 
side. And a defensive foul given to the Wildcats, number 20, with her first team foul, number five, for the Wildcats. Brick Kmar not sure to give it to her. She'll take it to Darby Dodge. No go on a three, but she'll take it in the inside. No go on a two. 50 to 20 as she'll take her in the Wildcat offense. She'll take it to 10 to the right, back to 20 to the center. 10 overthrown to 50 inside. Kmar will fight for it. It's a jump ball. And the ball will be given back to the cadets. Maddie will take courtesy in the cadet offense once more here tonight. Overthrown pass to Grace Reno inside. Still going at two. And another turnover is made. 10 to 24. To the center, bounce pass to 10. No going at two. 24 will rebound it. Darby Dodd now with her third foul. Team foul number five for the Cadets. 58 to 42. And it's short. Grace Reno. Oh. Darby trying to stand up at 20. Will take free possession. And another defensive foul will be given to the Cadets. Ooh, Grace Reno now with her fourth. Team foul number six. First one is up, and it's a no-go. Jenny Wibbum, let's come back into this matchup for Grace Reno as we reset up the, the cadet defense, Wildcat offense. Now set to box out. The second one is up. And it's a no-go. Taylor Vanatta will rebound that basketball. And we are back in the cadet offense. K. Meyer to Darby. Ball goes out of bounds, but will remain cadet ball. Maddie on the outside for a three. No go. Taylor Vanatta will rebound it. Whoa. And it will be a jump ball. And the ball will be given back to the Wildcats. 22 will come in for 42. Parks, Parks is 50. Well, nonetheless, 20 with full possession block from Darby and Jenny. Hummel has been given another timeout as this matchup rolls off. We're back here on Friday Night Basketball for this North Central Conference matchup between the Wildcats and the Cadets. 20 to 22. Darby at full eyes on her. 10 with full possession, who is now in. Two points, Wildcats. And we are ready, and we are indeed looking at a very close matchup here tonight. But only one can leave with the W. Two points, connects. Twenty-two will rebound it. Ten on the outside for a three. No go. Taylor and I will rebound. Bounce pass to Maddie Jewell. With only 40 seconds remaining. Came on the outside for a three. No go. 24 inside the 20. No go on a two. Whistle blown. <laughs> 22 with her third foul. T foul number six for the Wildcats. And only 28 seconds remaining to finish this third quarter. Maddie with a long pass to Taylor. Back to throw to Jenny Whipholm. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will be Wildcat ball. Yeah. 
10 will take possession block from Maddie Jewell. And she'll drive it now inside the bounce back to 50. Ball goes out of bounds and it will remain Wildcat ball. No go on the inside for a two. Darby will drive it inside. No go on a two. She will be given a free throw shot opportunity. And number 40 will receive her second. Team foul number seven for the Wildcats. First one is up, and it's good. Set the box out. Second one is up, and it's good. No go on long three, but that'll do it for your first, your third quarter tonight. Get X40, Wildcats 35. Only one can leave with a W, but who will it be as this matchup will return for the fourth quarter? And we are back here on Friday Night Basketball. We are now beginning the last quarter of the night between the Wildcats and the Cadets. Now he bounce pass. Inside for a two, no go. 42 will save it. 22 will travel. And we are back in the Cadet offense. Jenny Whipham not sure to give it to. She'll give it to Taylor Van Adder. Two points connects. Twenty inch trouble block for Maddie Jewell. Whistle blown. Twenty will receive her second. Team foul number eight for the Wildcats. And yes, Maddie Jewell will be given a three throw shot opportunity. First one is up, and it's a no go. Taylor Van will save it. And she will be given a three throw shot opportunity. 22 now with her fourth, team foul number nine. First one is up, and it's good. Get that some Wildcats set the box out once more. Second one is up, and it's short. In the Hummel offense, can that defense 10 to 20 block from Maddie Jewell? Take it to the center. Over thrown to 14 inside block from Kenny Meyer. Meant to bounce past the 10, but blocked from Jenny Whipham. It'll go out of bounds, but will remain Wildcat ball. Three, 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 three. 20 with a bounce pass to 42 block from Darby and Taylor. Katie will rebound the ball, and Maddie will take possession. Drive it inside to Taylor Van Adder. Two points, cut it! The Hummel Wildcats are going for a full timeout when we return to Hummel High School. We're back here live inside Hummel territory for this North Central Conference matchup with only six minutes and now 47 seconds remaining in the second half. 42 will screen. 10 to 40 outside block from Darby. Our throw in the 14 inside. No going at two. Taylor Vanetta will rebound the ball. And she'll take it to Darby. To Maddie with a three. No go. Taylor will save it to Katie Meyer. No going at two. 
Jamie Meyer will be given a free throw shot opportunity, and the foul will be given to the Wildcats. 14 now with her first, team foul number 10. Yeti goes for two. First one is up, and it's a no-go. Set the box out once again. Second one is up, and it's good. 24, let's come back into this matchup for number 10 as we reset up the Hummel offense, cadet defense. Twenty taking her time wisely. As bounce pass to 24. Bounce pass back to 40. One foot in, one foot out to 20. Who's now in. Two points, Wildcats. Darby will give it pass from Maddie on the outside. Back to Maddie. Throwing to King Meyer inside. It will be a jump ball. And the ball will be given back to the Wildcats. Twenty again, no hurry. It pass bounce pass to forty. Block from Darby. Twenty-four. 4-2 will scream. Block from Jenny with home. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will be Cadet Ball. Five minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the second half. Maddie Jules A. Curtis in the Cadet offense once again, who is now inside. Pass it to her sister Grace. Bounce pass to Katie Meyer inside. And an offensive foul given to the Cadets as Katie Meyer will receive her third team foul number eight for the Cadets. That's 24 inside the 42. Two points, Wildcats. Maddie in full possession. Going to Darby inside. Taylor to Grace Jewel. No, going to three. Dar Darby will almost try to. Whoa! As Darby Dodd try to save it, she will be given a three throw shot opportunity. Number 20 will receive her third, team foul number 11. Darby will go for two. First one is up, and it's short. Second one is up, and it's good. Brand new, but we'll call for a 30 second time now when we return to Humble Territory. We're back here live in Humble High School with only four minutes and 23 seconds remaining to finish this second half. 40 on the outside, the 20, the 24 inside. She will travel, and the ball will be given back to the Cadets. Maddie Joel, full possession, overthrown to Katie Meyer, who is now in. No. Looked like she might have been a trial, but the referees did not see that. I said it once before, being a referee is the last job that I ever want to do. 
can't be right all the time. Anyways, Maddie will give it to Darby. No go on a three, but she'll pass it to Grace Jewel to her sister Maddie to Darby and stolen out of Humboldt. From number 10, two points, Wildcats. And the pressure is starting to build. Two now in possession. 24 on the outside. No go on a three. 24 will travel and back to the cadet offense. Grace Joel trying to survive. They see Wildcats are playing a more steady defense and trying to get this. Got to get their team to W. Three minutes remaining. Gaining on the outside, overthrown to Grace Jewell. To Grace Greenco. Ball goes out of bounds, but will remain to that ball. Darby now not should have given it to her. Should give it to Grace Jewell. She'll take it to Katie Meyer. To Maddie Jewell now into the center. Try to save for Darby. 10 will steal it. Maddie Jewell, I believe, has been given another foul. Oh no, a correction. Darby now with her fourth team foul, number nine. Taylor Van Adder coming in for Grace Jewell. Ten goes for two. First one is up, and it's good. Set the box out again. Second one is up and it's good. Maddie block from 10 to 20. Darby now in trouble. The back back pass on the outside. Joe it back to Maddie. 20 locked on her. Katie Meyer. It was now an overthrow to Taylor Benatter. Doesn't look like she traveled. She tried to pop a three, but a no go. Bounce pass. Whoa! Another team foul will be given to what to Humble. 42 now with her third. Taylor Van Aaron will go for a free throw shot opportunity. First one is up and it's good. Second one is up and it's good. Bounce past the 10, back to 20 in the center. Back to 10, 20, 22, now outside. Over thrown to 40, no good chance on popping a three. 22 inside, two points, Wildcats. Oh. Ball goes out of bounds and it will remain humble ball. Forty back to twenty inside. No go on a two. Cadets in desperate need to maintain the driver's seat. Maddie will drive it inside to Kenny Meyer. Maddie 
play drill to Taylor. And a foul will be given to number 40, I believe. Or correction, number 10 will receive her third team foul number 12 for the Wildcats. First one is up. And it's good. Second one is up. And it's good. Brandon Yulberg has called for a full timeout when we return to Humboldt High School. Only one minute remaining, and we are back inside Hummel territory as we finish this last quarter of this varsity matchup between the Wildcats and the Cadets. No, go on a three. 42 with a two. No, go. Forty-two. No, go on a two. No, go. No, go. Taylor Vanell will re maintain possession. Whoa, whoa. And strong as she is, she will be given another free throw shot opportunity. Forty will receive her third team foul number 13. First one is up, and it's a no-go. Set the box down once again. The second one is up, and it's good. Ten to twenty-two. Block from Darby and Grace. Ju or excuse me, Maddie. Two long of a three. Taylor Benner once again will retake possession. And a foul given to number. 22, and that will be her fifth. She is out of here. <laughs> 50 will take over for, 20, for number 22, as Taylor Van Adder once again got another free throw shot opportunity. First one is up, and it's good. Set the box out again. Second one is up, and it's good. 20, a long pass to 42. Two long of a three. Taylor Benatter again with the rebound. The bounce pass to Katie Meyer, who barely saves it in time. And that will pretty much do it. Owl Falls Alden victorious. Victorious here tonight. Final score 54 Cadets, Wildcats 45.